Welcome to this week's Spelling Netcast. Make sure that you have your pencil sharpened so that you're ready to go. Nice glue stick to glue a couple things in. Your scissors, nice and round at the top. A spelling zip top bag for you when you cut your words out that you can put them right in there and stick them on the fridge or wherever you're going to do it. Spelling notebook and, of course, your spelling words. Now, the first thing we got to do is we got to cut out our words. So, let's do a little cutting here. But while I'm cutting these out, you need to look at what we're cutting out. Looks like we're doing Latin roots. We're doing D-U-C, D-U-C-T. That one's in interesting. Duct. Duct. I wonder where we've seen duct. Not duck. Not, not as in quack quack. But as in duct. Okay, so we'll have to look at those. Looks like we've got uh, S-E-Q-U slash S-E-C. Now remember, when I cut these out, I like to put these all in a row and not cut them out yet. That way when I write them across on my, my uh, paper, I have them all ready to go and, and I have enough room. So, okay, then I like to cut them out into three different things, and then we're going to cut these out three at a time. That makes it pretty easy to cut out. Now, you can have these already cut out if you want to, but what I need you to make sure that you're doing is that you put all of these words around the outside so that as I say a word, you can grab it and write it and say it because you need to say them also. So let's get these all put out here. Oh, looks like we've got a couple ooh, interesting words here. So we've got some interesting things we're going to be talking about. So I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so we'll put all these out here. All right, so let's see what we got here. So let's glue in our thing. I like to zip off the last piece of that. Um, the other ones we're doing is F-L-U, flu. But when we talk about the flu, this isn't the illness flu because that is its own word. It's actually influenza. So I wonder if influenza has something to do with what we're talking about. Okay, I like to glue that up on the top. And then what I want you to do is I want you to skip a line because we're going to write some definitions up on the top up here. So put D-U-C slash D-U-C-T underline S-E-Q-U slash S-E-C underline F-L-U V-E-R slash V-E-R-T vert. Interesting. I'm interested about that one also because we use vert in a couple of the words that we use in math. So we'll have to see what that actually means. So now that I've cut these up, I'm going to put these in my zip top bag so I can do a little bit of work on it tomorrow night. So, oops, forgot to put that one in there. So let's get that in there. Sweet. All right, here we go. So our first word we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about D-U-C, D-U-C-T. So let's talk about this word right here, introduction. So let's write it, intro. Now an intro, we know into. So an intro leads into something. So an introduct, shun. And shun is the act of in, so what does duct mean? Duct actually means to lead. To lead. Okay? So it's leading into, the act of leading into something. So an introduction is the act of leading into a movie or a play or something. So when you're given an introduction, you're leading into what's going to happen next. That's kind of cool. So if we look at another one, D-U-C, um, 
reduce. Let's look at reduce. Reduce. Let's see what we got. What is reduce? When we reduce something, it, it makes it smaller. So re is to not lead. Huh, that's interesting. Not lead? So how would that be leading? What would reduce? Not bigger? Um, reduce in size, so not making it... Huh, interesting. We'll have to look at that one. See what you can come up with that one, all right? Okay, S-E-Q-U-S-E-C. Let's start with this one, sequel. Sequel. When we do sequel... We got S-E-Q-U, and what that means is a sequel, when we talk about a movie that is a sequel, it comes after, so it follows, it follows the next one. So to follow, so the sequel will follow the original one, I guess, that, I guess that's what uh, it's trying to say. So I think we're going to leave that one right there. Let's do uh, our next one. Flu, F-L-U. We've got fluid, F-L-U-I-D. And fluid actually means to flow. So when it's flowing, it's fluid. It is flowing. So fluid is liquid, isn't it? So it's, it's flowing. That's kind of cool. So let's, oh, you know what? I want to do this one. Superfluous. Superfluous. So when we look at this, superfluous. Flu means to flow. Super actually means above. To flow above or the nature of flowing above. And superfluous is actually something a little bit different. It's actually to flow above. It means you have an abundance of something. You have plenty of something. So if you have, if you're, if you have a super, uh, superfluous amount of money, you have plenty or an abundance amount of money. That one's kind of cool. So, all right, let's go into ver and vert. Reverse. Let's do that one. Reverse. V E R. So when you're going in reverse, where are you going? You're going backward. Well, re means to go back, right? Does it? Does re mean to go back? Re actually means once more, anew, to, to do again. So actually, verse means to turn. So we're turning back again. We're doing, we're going to back again or just to turn back. That's what reverse actually means. And so we're going to do one more. I think we've got it. Oh, there it is. Conversation. Conversation. Shun means the nature of. Ver means to turn so they're actually, when we're doing a conversation, we're actually, what, talking, taking turns. We're taking turns in a conversation. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Huh. All right. So now what I need you to do is I need you to take the rest of these words. I need you to write them out. I need you to underline the pattern that we're looking at, and I need you to come up with kind of an idea of what these mean. What do you think some of these words mean? So when I ask you, what are they meaning? I want you to be able to tell me what you think. You can look a couple up in the dictionary if you want, but I need you to be able to look to lead, follows, flow, and turn and come up with those, all right? Okay, get your stuff done. See ya.